In election news, KMT presidential candidate Hong Shouju chose to ignore a heckler who called for the ouster of legislative speaker Wang Jinping. The DPP Tsai meanwhile, offered three strategies for achieving her ambitious social housing plan. DPP presidential candidate Tsai Ing-wen plans to use a combination of new government projects, floor area incentives for developers, and rental of privately held homes to create 200,000 new social housing units within eight years. I guarantee that after the DPP takes power next year, the central government will assist with finance, regulatory amendments, and providing of public land. Tsai's KMT rival in the race, Hong Shouju, spoke at the inaugural meeting of a new KMT support group for Taiwanese business people in China. She joined in song with President Ma ying Vice President Wu Duanyi, and KMT Chairman Eric Zhu. On a personal level, this so-called movement to replace me does not matter. But in terms of the party and the nation, I cannot retreat. Otherwise, Deep Blue supporters will be pained, moderate voters will be alienated, and Deep Green supporters will ridicule us. Hong next led the audience in a cheer. Below the stage, one audience member could be heard to yell out, overthrow Wang Jingping. Ma seemed to crack a smile. When asked about the comment, the legislative speaker was cool-headed. Uh, uh, we respect their views. I'm not that great. Wang is seen as part of the pro-localization faction of the KMT, a group that has views which often run counter to the deep blue members of the party, more closely aligned with China. He understands that discord between these two groups threatens KMT solidarity.